By 1940, the helicopter had fulfilled the vertical dream, but the U.S. military weren't impressed and couldn't see an application for them. The helicopter becomes a military aircraft at a time when military aircraft were big, chunky, armored, heavily weaponed pieces of equipment. And the early helicopters were dragonflies by comparison. And helicopters just didn't have the characteristics that air forces thought were important. It took all the helicopter's strength just to lift off the ground. Greater engine power was needed to give them greater lift capacity to carry men, weapons, and machines. In World War II, Germany found that power in the Fokker Achgelis FA-223. It had a single 1,000 horsepower piston engine, powering a twin rotor system that measured 78 feet from tip to tip. The two rotors gave it enormous lift capacity. And with a max speed of 150 miles per hour and a ceiling of 23,000 feet, the FA-223 wasn't a dragonfly, it was a dragon. Germany was very advanced in rotary wing development at the beginning of the Second World War and they developed the FA-223 as a transport type helicopter but also to carry heavy loads and they were actually used experimentally by the Alpine Regiment to move heavy artillery around in the Alps. Despite the FA-223's impressive performance, only a handful were made. For the Axis and Allied powers, helicopters were still a novelty. Even so, the FA-223 had given the world the first glimpse of the helicopter's true potential. Uh -huh. 